Oh, we're reaching the bottom? I don't read ahead on the walkthroughs. I'm just, I was just, you know, just using it to get directions on the way. So I don't know what's coming up. Maybe we'll stop sprinting like maniacs. Yeah, I'm sure this is totally. This is a boss room. Yep. This is a cool boss. I like this boss. I love the design. Ooh, why is it all weird looking? Wait a second. Am I taking damage? Am I standing? Is the floor lava? Holy macaroons. Don't hit me. I was like, please be slow on the hitting. Don't hit, don't siphon off of people. Don't do that. Don't do that either. Uh oh. Oh, I thought she was gonna die, so I was like, re I was like getting ready to raise her, but did not. Oh, and he's both the years should give himself. Oh, he doesn't have it for himself. He has it for an ally. Okay, I did mess with his gambits. Him and I passed it. Uh, him and Fran. Oh boy. We only have three left. Well, hopefully this Sagittarius-looking individual doesn't uh, have a lot of disease <laughs> attacks. I'm waiting for like a really... Oh, come on, Penelo. Been too bad, but they're both out here just freaking dies. Oh, all right. Yeah, these haven't been too bad. Unless somebody has a second phase somewhere. I realize these have like kind of, uh, well, to me they have like Buddhist-sounding names, but that looked like a Sagittarius-type person. Like with the horse shape, kind of, with like the back end thing. That's the, that was the vibe I got. And we got we got a big glowing piece of uh, anthracite. I don't know. Esper, Shemhazi the Whisperer. Not that Buddhist is a language. I guess Indian then. It do bears an inscription by this path and no other reach ye the round of the undying walk of the chosen heck yeah I don't know I don't know what it means but I'll do it <laughs> this would be me in an ancient ruin that actually operated like this I'd be like poke I'd be one of those archaeologists who die <laughs> Ooh, cutscene oh my gosh oh this is so fancy Oh, this is so cool. It's like Sky Atlantis. Where is 
Yes, every one. Oh, you have to come to terms. Fear not, Princess of Dalmasca. We, Ocuria, have chosen you. And you alone. She didn't get here by herself. Ashalia Banag and Dalmasca, we see your heart desires power, and power most holy shall we grant. Seek you the sun crisp, slumbering star. In tower on distant shore, it dreams. The mother of all Nethysite, the source of its unending power. Why are you giving it to her? The Dynast King, his fellow shards, coarse trinkets cut from sun crisp's light. Such power exists? No, they're the lying. That are long passed away. We sought to save this Ivalice and chose Wraithwall, the Dynast King. He took the sword and cut the crist. Three shards he took from its gilt grasp and so became the Dynast King. His words and deeds run through your veins. That's why they picked her. That's why I was given it. The Sword of Kings. The treaty held with kings of old is but a memory, cold and still. With you, we now shall treat in you to cut a run for history's flow. Well, I like that way of phrasing it. Now take this sword, this treaty blade, a curian seal, mark of your worth. These swords are epic. Cut deep the crest and seize your shards. Wield Dinah's king's power. Destroy Vanar. Oh, Vanar. They don't like... I bet you Vanar used to... One of them. Vanar's an Acurian. Yeah. Like you. Yeah. Is a heretic. Oh, oh, jeez. I'm, so, I'm sorry. The Nethersite is ours to give to Chosen Bearer. Or to none. The heretic trespassed. And set the rose of knowledge in man's hand. With imitations they profane. It is anathema to us. We give you now the stone and task. Administer judgment. Destroy them all. You see the teeth on one of them? That was spooky. Like judgment. A, a skull. <gasps> Lover. Destroy them all. The Empire? The Humes ever skew. History's weave. The Humes. With haste, they move through two short lives. Driven to there by base desires. Toward waste and wasting. On they run. Undying, we are Curia light the path for wayward sons of man. Oft did we pass judgment on them, so that Ivalice might endure. So they're gods? Eternal. We are history's stewards. To set the course and keep it true. That's not... The chosen is our hand, our fist. To let live some and crush the rest. This Princess, is fast. You have been chosen. This is fascinating. Take revenge against those who stole your kingdom. Fulfill your role as savior. Are they manipulating, like, the image of him to manipulate her? Attain to your birthright. I love this, though. I love that it's a woman, honestly. Like, as silly as that. Not silly, as, um, I don't know. Whatever the word is, as, uh, as small as that might seem to some, Ash. it's awesome to see a woman being the recipient. What's with these Acuria? Of this what dynasty. What the right to tell you what to do? Will you take revenge, as they ask? Huh? We could not see them, but we heard the Acuria speak. They may be gods, but we are the arbiters of our destiny. Your Highness, I am against this. The Empire must pay, but destruction. 
Um... Does anyone know what happened to Dr. Sid? Wasn't he saying he'd be here? He should have arrived by now. And I should have realized by now. He's not coming. He laid out the bait, and we bit. Remember what he said? He wanted Ash to get the stone. He wanted that all along. That's why he flaunted his nethersite and reeled us in with his stories about Ghetto Vagan, all to bring Ash to the Arcuria. But wait, if we got a hold of the nethersite, wouldn't that be bad for the Empire? Maybe he wants to see what happens when foes with nethersite collide. That'd be just like Dr. Sid. I will search out the sun crist. Are we gonna have a moment? History is built by our hands. That's his favorite line. He'd never stand by and watch the Acurious Stones shape things. So, he was talking to Venar all along. He wasn't mad at all then, was he? The Treaty Blade. This is fascinating, honestly. And, all, like, I know, like, um... What I said earlier, like, I just really like seeing a woman being the recipient of this instead of it being, like, Luke Skywalker or whatever, you know? That, like, some some boy or whatever is, like, I mean, it's fine, you know? like But that's just, like, the cliche story at this point, right? Like, and this is an older story, so I wasn't expecting it that Ash, at least so far, and she's been, like, you know, I want revenge. I want power. She's not this, like, dithering, like, oh, I don't know if I should do it in the morality. and I mean, she is conflicted, obviously. Like, she didn't, like, when they said destruction, she was like, oh, destruction. Like, I think she wants to make the leadership of the Empire pay. Um, but I think to totally destroy it, like, and I, but I do think a part of her kind of wants to do that, right? Like, I think she's, like, a tiny part of her is, like, yes, like, who doesn't potentially, like, rebel at, like, the thought of, like, the enough power to be able to do that and to do what you think is right. You're like, oh, yeah, destroy this whole, you know, evil land or whatever, you know? But, like, she knows that it's not, you know? At least that's how I'm interpreting it, that, like, a small part of her does, and, and it would be the easy way out. It would be the easy way out, and that's... That is a point to make, you know, um, to just destroy them all. Like, you don't have to worry about the nuance or the morality or anything like that. But I really love that right now this is in her hands and that she seeks power. She seeks revenge. But she, and she's not like some wishy-washy princess or like wishy-washy, like, you know, vessel of purity or whatever. They're like, we sense you desire power. Here you freaking go. Do go destroy things. And she's like, Phew, you know, like, okay, but like. I think she's also kind of still making decisions as she goes, but like, she's, um, I feel like she's, she's kind of rushing headlong a bit. She's like, we're going to go, we're going to do it, even though we know we're kind of walking into a trap. I feel like that Sid wants the stones. So he's going to try and take them from us. As soon as she get as soon as she gets the stones, I think he's going to try to take them from us. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's just really refreshing, especially in what I think of as an older story to see. At this point, I feel like Ash is like the main protagonist. Like, I think Bosch is kind of supposed to be the protagonist. But like, it, the story revolves around Ash and like her desire for power and like her desire to, to win back her country to, for revenge, you know, like for good and for bad. Like, you know, I really like it. I like it a lot. Restore Dalmasca's sovereignty and make our amends with Lady Ash. Oh, yeah, it's the uh -huh. only way to avert war. That's gonna work. It's a war of necessity. Your Lady Ash herself is bent on it. She desires it above all else. She will not rest until her revenge is full wrought. I fear you misread her intent. She would sooner shun war than embrace it. You are young, Larsa. And you presume beyond your ken. Then let us look closer. Judge Gabranth. I would have you seek after the Lady Ash and judge whether she makes overtures of peace or war. Yours shall be the eyes of the Empire. 
And should I spy war, I am to put her to the sword. Is that your wish, Excellency? It will not come to that, I am sure. I have faith in her, faith in you both. On you, Gabranth, shall I wager all our fortunes. Just one person? As you will. And he's the one who betrayed his brother. Like, he could just decide for himself. Like, nope, I'm gonna kill her. That's what if the king wants. If a child could be your brother, it's hard to believe. Larsa is as he should be. What's that, Vanna? Ah, taken the bait already, have they? Splendid. The Ocuria have given the princess her treaty blade. The gods have chosen their scribe to write history as they deem fit. Yes, and she with fresh nethersite to aid her. Bah! To hell with the Ocuria and their stones. What good? A power that cannot be harnessed. Baubles best suited for study, no more. <sighs> we conquered two kingdoms that you might study these baubles. Oh, I am grateful for the sacrifice. Without it, manufactured Nethersite would have eluded us. An unrivaled weapon, I warrant you. <laughs> Tell me, Venar, have I not been an apt pupil? Weird. Oh, okay. Weirder. My counsel did but guide your able hand. Through power of man, the stones did you perfect. Yes. So much accomplished in six fleeting years. Man's fervor or all obstacles prevailing. Our lives are much too short. You undying might waste long centuries away, but we, I fear, cannot. Just so. Had we more time, we might have availed ourselves of more prudent measures. Your greatest Less... work still lies before you. Less murder. Not lightly will the Acuria allow you to wrest the reins of history from their grasp back into the hands of men. Indeed. What claim does Garen have on history's reins? Seated on throne immortal, rent from time. For your ascendance vain I offer prayer. May you attain all that which is your due. That's a curse if I ever heard one. Attain it I shall. May you For attain- too long have my deeds gone unrewarded. Yeah, well, you're gonna get rewarded with what you get for being a murderer. Also, the idea that one of these like history writers has gone rogue and is trying to let In humans tower, on distant shore dreams the sun Christ. Do these words mean aught to you? Didn't Redda say he was going to follow some other course? Maybe you found out something that can help. I'd rather stay out of that sky pirate's debt, thank you. What's wrong with Redis? I mean, if you can't trust your own kind, who can you trust? You're an expert on pirating now, are you? <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate it when he stands like that. I wanna punch him in the teeth. Um, but no, it is interesting. So we have this race of gods that aren't just content to like interfere periodically. They want to, they have a set course in their heads of how things should go. At least probably like a big picture of how things should go. And so they interfere. Um, that is, is a, uh, that's very interesting. Like that's an interesting way to take like um, an overseer type position. Sometimes it happens in like stories with like aliens who will come and like uh, manipulate things kind of from on high, very godlike in many ways. Um, but to have one who is like potentially like, tr like I don't know, it's almost like a like a morally gray thing, right? Where it's like they want to wrest the reins of history from these like out of time, like or out, you know, like I think they, I think they said like an out of almost out of touch, like out of time. They're immortal, right? So they're out of like our time frame, essentially. I think this is what was going, like, kind of the phrase was going for. Um, but they are not connected to how things are done by mortals, you know? Um, so how, why do they get to decide what's what's right and what's wrong, you know? 
or not right and wrong necessarily, but like what's um history. They don't even have they don't even claim to do right and wrong. And they want her to destroy a whole kingdom. Because that will like bring balance or something, I assume, to like what they want, like the the, the dynasties that they want, the history that they want. But this Vena is like potentially trying to put the power back with the humans, or they have their own motivations that they haven't shared, which I kind of think is the case. Um, maybe they just got sick of it. They were like, no, let's, let's change things up a bit, and have all the other ocularums or whatever were like, now! And they were like, like the one individual was like, okay, bye, I'm gonna go cause some shenanigans. I'm gonna throw some, some rocks in the pond of your history making and cause some waves, you know? So... This is fascinating. Um, I am really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying how this is all coming together. I was, I was kind of thinking, I was like, are we getting close to the end? Like we're getting to like the heart of this little, like whatever that was, a big nethesite chunk. I don't know. But now there's more. I'm fascinated and appreciative. So, thank you all for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I've been recording for over two hours. I have no idea how long this episode's gonna be, or if it's gonna be two, maybe. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching, I appreciate it. This is the part where I normally say thank you to my patrons while I'm recording the video, but this is editing squirrel because there was a recent change to patron stuff, uh, to patron people. So I'm paying attention and I'm including that. So really quick, I wanna say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of you, including the acorns. Thank you so much, Adam, for your support at the acorn tier patron. And thank you so much, Fane, for your support at the acorn tier patron level. Uh, and I want to give a special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You've been supportive for a very long time and I appreciate that. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my forest tier patron and has gone above and beyond in his support of the channel for a long time now and who is just super supportive and super wonderful and comments all the time. I really appreciate you a lot. I hope you know that. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.